With a population of just over 800 people, Wolseley, Saskatchewan is attempting to bring an NHL game to the community and save their aging rink. Vance Weber is one of the Wolseley Craft Hockeyville organizers. The big reason is our ice plant uh, is on year 44 of a 25 year design. If Wolseley wins, they'll receive a quarter of a million dollars to upgrade the rink and replace the artificial ice plant. Despite their ice plant being on its last legs, the rink is home to eight surrounding communities and three different First Nations. Goalie for the U15 Wolseley Mustangs, Regan Stevenson, drives with his dad from Cowessis to play in Wolseley. He says not knowing how the ice will be is tough. It's kind of tough. Can't play that much. Harder to play. Regan's dad, Corey, says the rink is vital for youth, both in Wolseley and the surrounding communities. They need a place to go, to play, to skate, figure skate, any kind of thing, any act activity. The Wolseley rink has also been home to success. Riel Thompson started his 20-year hockey career in Wolseley, peaking with the Prince Albert Raiders of the WHL. Thompson is from Carry the Kettle First Nation and says rinks like Wolseley help all youth build their confidence on the ice. It's a good program for for uh, a wide array of, of, of many different youths, you know, and especially First Nation youth as well. Wolseley is facing Elliott Lake, Ontario, Cochrane, Alberta, and Enderby, British Columbia in the final four. The public can begin voting tomorrow, March 29th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, and voting closes March 30th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Rachel May, APTN National News, Saskatoon.